Traditionally, an aircraft carrier is supposed to be one ship that can perform at least power projection and sea control missions. Some say it's a floating city because many activities take place in it. Power projection, air defense, surveillance and reconnaissance, humanitarian aid and diplomatic missions are some of the general functions of aircraft carriers. So how much do you think it actually costs to run the aircraft carriers? The operating costs of an aircraft carrier will blow your mind. As an illustration, the U.S. Navy spends about $60 billion per year operating and supporting its 480-ship fleet. That seems like a lot. Aircraft carriers are among the most expensive military ships, and they are only built by the most developed militaries. The costs of aircraft carriers are exacerbated by how they are used in combat. While aircraft are flying from them, aircraft carriers require the protection of other battleships. Currently, the United States has 11 of the world's 25 aircraft carriers. Gerald R. Ford class is a class of nuclear-powered carriers constructed for the United States Navy. A carrier strike group normally includes at least a cruiser, two destroyers, and possibly a supply ship or a submarine. Operating and maintaining carrier strike groups requires a greater sum of capital, which includes military payment, maintenance, resupply, and midlife refueling. Aircraft carriers are more than just large vessels that can fight in battle. A carrier is a massive symbol of military power that can be deployed anywhere in the world to effectively reach any country with powerful and cutting-edge weapons. The U.S. Navy spends around $21 billion per year to maintain its 11 active aircraft carriers, and that number is growing. The majority of these costs, according to the Lauren Thompson Lexington Institute's current report, must be covered whether the vessels are deployed on training missions or in port. To be more specific, each carrier transports an average of 6,590 military personnel with an estimated annual operating cost of $1.18 billion. A single carrier's daily operational costs range between $6 million and $8 million. Hendricks, a retired Navy captain from the Center for a New American Security, mentioned this calculation. The cost of running a carrier strike group is $6.5 million per day, which includes sailor pay as well as the cost of purchasing all of the strike group's ships. Calculating the fiscal burden of each carrier strike group is difficult because assumptions must be made about the number of days deployed, the rate at which expendables are consumed, and what costs the joint force might incur if missions were completed without the use of aircraft carriers. Executing strike operations against a major adversary, for example, would presumably necessitate many more surface combatants and massive amounts of munitions, which typically cost more than a million dollars per target destroyed. Carriers could be the most cost-effective way to complete some critical missions for U.S. strategy. So what do you think? Let's comment below.